in this equa in this um, uh, problem, I've got an exponential, and this is something that a lot of people might struggle with. Um, and I'm going to be having to use the product rule with an exponential. Um, so, um, as always with the product rule, we write out the uh, product rule um, um, equation, which is u dv dx plus v du over dx. Um, I will now um, um, assign these all to something. So my x squared will be the u term, so u will be x squared, and my v will be e to the 2x. Some places, I've only really seen this at university level, um, will write it as exponential brackets 2x. It, it, it's exactly the same thing. Um, some people prefer it like this, some people like, like it like this. I like it like this because it, it reminds me that the, it's to the power of something. And sometimes when you've got, let's say, e to the 2x squared, um, it, it's it, you've got to try and remember like it's not uh, e two x two or something like that, and you know you turn it into four x later on. Um, and it's very be very careful in the way that you arrange the um, uh, your writing. Um, so anyway, I'll differentiate u, which would be du dx, very simple differential, which is two x. But then now we're going to do dv dx. So now here we're going to use the chain rule, very similar to the uh, doing trigonometry, uh, a trigonometric differentiation, um, and um, I'm going to let t equal 2x. Um, so now when t equals 2x, um, that means v will equal e to the t, so um, e to the power t. Um, so now let's do dt by t dx, so differentiate this, which would be 2, and let's differentiate dv by dt. Uh, now dv by dt is actually e to the t. e to the t, uh, the, uh, uh, the differential of an exponential is itself, really. So if you have e to the x, it's e to the x. So that's why I wanted to get it into this term. This is the reason why I wanted it to be um, the way that it looks now. Um, is, so I basically I've pulled this out. So let's say this was minus 2x. I've, I would pull out minus 2x and then differentiate that so this would become minus 2. So that this, my v term, would always be e to the t. So if you had e to the 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 here and some massive quadratic equation um, in, in, the, in the power form, you pull that whole thing out. So now dv dt equals this. I will then do um, dv dt by dt times by dt by dx because then my dt's will cancel out and I get dv dv by dx which would be which would that means be 2 multiplied by this which is e substitute t back in 2x that is dv dx so now here let's use this uh, the product rule uh, equation and here we're going to get um, 2e 2x uh, dv dx by uh, u so we've got x squared multiplied by 2e 2x plus um, let's do uh, v du dx um, so you've got um, e to the 2x multiplied by 2x so um, my answer here is going to be um, well actually I can simplify it all out I'm going to get 2x squared e 2x plus 2x e to the 2x so um, actually you can simplify that again um, by putting up 2e x e to the 2x x plus 1. Um, yep, there we go. So that would be my answer. I'm not sure. I think um, in some papers that could be left as your final answer. Um, sometimes you might get one extra mark if you put it into its simplest form. But this is the uh, differential of that.